Welcome back everyone to the Cade and Keys channel where we learn piano, love music, and live life. So you may be learning your favorite pieces on the piano right now and your right hand is just doing well. You may be playing the melody spot on, you're adding some harmonies and you're adding some improvisations and ad-libs, but maybe your left hand sounds really boring and bland. Maybe you're just pressing the bass note individually or maybe you're just pressing the chord together in the first beat of every measure and you're thinking of ways how to spice up that left hand. So today, we're going to be exploring one of the most useful, if not probably the most useful, left hand piano pattern. So if you've been following me for a while, some of you may actually already have an idea of what this pattern is. But keep watching, we're going to break it down, explore it, and find ways to upgrade over this most useful left hand piano pattern. Let's go to the piano. So now we're going to look at the most useful left hand pattern. Now why is this so useful? Because not only is it easy, not only does it sound good, but that you can upgrade it and add so many other variations to this simple pattern. So if you've been following me for a while, you know this pattern. This pattern is the one five one or one five eight it's the same thing so i'll explain this very quickly the one five eight pattern is based on the scale okay so scale of c major one two three four five six seven eight so one five eight is the first the fifth and the eighth left hand first fifth eighth so that's c g C. So if it's in the G chord, it's G, D, G. If it's E or E minor, it's the same thing. E, B, E. Another way to break it down, another way to think about it is think of the chord C. C, E, G. One, five, eight, meaning you take the third out. So it's one and the fifth, and then you add the eighth. So it's very simple. So let's look at the simple chord progression of C, G, A minor, and F. Now I'll be riffing and improvising on the right hand, and on the left hand, I'll be playing the one, five, eight pattern. Something as simple as that. It already sounds really good. Now what people find challenging with this pattern, although it's easy, is how to fit it into the song. So we look at examples. It will really depend on the song. For example, Memories by Maroon 5. Because the chords change rather quickly, the chords change every two counts from C to G to A minor to E minor and so on. So of course you have to play it quickly. I'll play it. Now this is transposed to the key of C. Look at my left hand while I'm playing the song. Now let's look at another song, Amazing Grace. Because the chords change rather slowly, so you can also play the 158 pattern slowly. I'll count while doing it. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, one, and two, and three, one. Now that's good, but to me it sounds a little bland. Now you can still play the 158 pattern in this song, but you play it faster. So instead of one and two and three, it can be one and two and three, and then just keep it. One and two and three. 
one and two and three. Here's an example. So there, the 158 pattern is very versatile, but it sounds really good. So here's a very simple way to practice the 158 pattern on your left hand. What we'll do is we'll use a chord progression. C, G, A minor, F, one of the most popular and easy chord progressions. If you, find, if you still find it difficult, on the right hand, we'll just play the chord as in one time. Just play C or C. Four counts. One, two, three, four. And then G. One, two, three, four. You can use inversions. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we'll practice the one, five, eight on our left hand. We can try it slow, as in one note per beat. So one, two, and three, and four, and G. One, and two, and three. And what I'm doing is going back. So one, five, eight, five. Or you can just stick one, five, eight. So it's one count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And if it's easier for you, then you can play it faster, meaning two notes per beat so instead of one two three four it can be one and two and three and four so one and two and then repeat on three four three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and Two and three and four. One and two and three and four. And if it's getting easier for you, then you can try adding a little bit of right hand. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And one, two and three. And if that's too easy for you, then you can try to find other chord progressions or you can try playing it in any song that you know. And as I said earlier, it's not only useful because it sounds good and it's easy, but that you can upgrade it. You can add other things while using that 158 pattern as your foundation. For example, 158 was broken chords. Or one five eight, but then you rock the five and eight. So one five eight five eight five eight five. I'll play Amazing Grace. Or another one is after one five eight. You add a nine and a ten. One, five, eight, nine, ten. One, five, eight, nine, ten. And I love this because it's like it has its own melody. So I'll still play Amazing Grace, but using the one, five, eight, nine, ten. There are actually a lot of ways to go about this. There is no fixed way. Now, I know that for the variations of the 158 pattern, I was just showing you a summary. It was a quick rundown. But for the next video, I'm, we're going to explore the different kinds of variations to spice 
up the 158 pattern even more. So stay tuned for the next video for that. So that's all for this video. To be able to practice this 158 pattern, play your favorite songs and try to fit that 158. How it would sound. Should you play it slow? Should you play it fast? Or you can just get the most common chord progressions and improvise on the right hand so you can practice that too while using the 158 on the left hand and see how it works, see how it sounds and try to add your own variations to it. It's really going to be fun and it's really going to help you. I assure you that. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next video. God bless you. Bye-bye.